Hi guys, I'm Joe the Multiboxer, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to get started streaming to Twitch using IS Boxer. So in IS Boxer, in your character set, um, select the slot that you would like to do the recording. There's a new Twitch streaming integration tab. And on this tab, uh, first of all, there's a download for you. Uh, Twitch streaming integration requires a separate free download. Click here for more information. Um, that'll take you to a page with a download. And once you've got that downloaded and installed, <clears throat> you can check this load Twitch streaming integration in this slot. Now when you click this, you might get this message. Twitch streaming will use additional CPU time. It's recommended to select all available CPU cores with this game instance. Um, and so IS Boxer can do that for you if you click yes. And what that does is on the performance tab, that enables all of your CPU cores. So each of the options here, use desktop capture is um, not actually an option right now. Um, it's currently the only available option for capture. Um, and it'll record all of your game windows and video effects. So that's perfect for IS Boxer users. Um, cursor option, if you don't want to show the cursor, uncheck that box. But most people usually want to see the cursor while they're watching your stream. Um, there's audio options. You can uh, use the microphone or not. Um, if you use the microphone, it might be helpful for you to use the push to talk hotkey. Um, that does have to be a single key without a modifier. Um, I will set mine to the control key. <clears throat> and the capture area, this is where on your desktop um, this will capture from. So the top left is the upper left corner, um, zero, zero and size this is defaulting to both of my monitors and I'm gonna have it only do one which is 1680 by 1050 for my screen stream resolution now this defaults to 1280 by 720 and um, you can do 1080p but it's not gonna be exactly 1080p um, I just typed in 1080 and it's gonna warn me that the twitch SDK um, currently requires the stream resolution to be evenly divisible by 16 um, so it's telling me that IS Boxer has automatically changed that setting for me. Um, so you can see it changed it to 1920 by 1072. Target FPS, um, if you don't actually hit this frame rate in the game, um, it's not going to send out this many frames to the audience. So um, you can adjust this however you like. If you need it to be higher, um, more smooth as they watch, then increase it. Um, but that's also going to depend on your bit rate. Adaptive bitrate is if you're not hitting your target FPS, like say you're only getting 20 frames per second in the game, adaptive bitrate will kick in and try to meet your uh, bitrate by increasing the image quality, make it a better looking image. So if you don't want that, just uncheck adaptive bitrate. Uh, maximum bitrate is going to depend on your ISP and your um, upstream. Um, that's how fast you can upload to the internet. Uh, most people are probably going to be limited around 2 megabits, that's 2,000 here. Um, but depending on your cable provider, your DSL, whatever you've got, that may need to be lower. Like, uh, Mirai's only got 768, so he would have to set his um, to 768 in order to um, use the right limitation from his cable provider. So, CPU usage, um, you got three options here, low, medium, and high and that'll uh, affect the image quality so low is going to be um, not the best image quality whereas high will be the best image quality but it's going to use more CPU to encode the uh, video um, ISX tweet, Twitch scene editor I'm not going to cover that in this video there is another video where I demonstrate that and uh, if you want to know more about custom scenes and setting that up uh, watch the other video um, so for now I'm just going to go ahead and export I've already got my team up, so you're going to see the windows pop up real quick. So in the window that I enabled this on, let me jump my guys. Um, in that window, I've now got a Twitch login box. So I'll go ahead and log in here. Once you've logged in, you'll get this box, uh, stream configuration box. It'll let you adjust the, uh, stream in, the stream options before you start streaming. Um, so we've got the same things that we saw in the um, IS Boxer interface. The same options are available here. Um, but we've, we've also got a webcam tab. So if you want to add your webcam, um, you can use this information here. 
pick a resolution, um, tell it where to put it, and that would be uh, enough to get it going. Um, but as, as you can see, my webcam is already set up here in the upper right, um, so I'm not going to use the webcam option right now. <clears throat> the scene drop down box, if you're using the ISX Twitch scene editor, this will have your scenes in it. Um, by default, it's just going to have default. Um, as you can see, I've got another one listed there. So the start chatting box, if you click this, it'll log you into your um, chat room on Twitch. Uh, wait for it to connect here. And I will say hello. Um, so you can see it said hello there. I'll bring up my browser. Let's see here. Um, so in the browser, you can see it says hello right where I, uh, I said it there. So back in the game. Uh, let's go ahead and start streaming. Click start streaming. And now you see that interface went away and we've got this little box up here with pause, stop, and a little scene switcher um, drop down box here. Um, but again, if you're using the, if you're not using the scene editor, um, you're only going to have the default scene. So uh, yeah, let's check out the stream. Uh, move my guys around real quick so there's something to watch. And my stream should be loaded. You'll notice I'm only getting about 10 frames a second right now because I'm recording video and I'm uh, streaming. So let's see how this goes. So there's the stream. It's active and running. And you can see everything that's going on on my desktop on this monitor, uh, just like we expected. So the last thing I'll show you real quickly, um, since we're here, um, I'll select my other scene that I've made. And you can watch how I've set that up in the other video. So in just a second, that should start showing a different scene. <clears throat> there goes the cursor, selecting the scene. And there it is. Um, I got an animation that's playing down there in the corner. Um, there's a text on the left and an icon on the bottom right. Um, and if I wasn't using this webcam um, already up in the corner, uh, then right there where it says Lax's face here in the corner of the stream, uh, that would have my webcam right over that. Um, and it's also got a scrolling marquee text going across the top there. Um, so you can see a couple of the things that you can do using the scene editor. Um, but this is how you get started broadcasting to Twitch, and this is everything you need to know. So uh, if you have any questions, come to the IS Boxer chat room, uh, visit the isboxer.com forums, and uh, that's pretty much it. Thanks, guys.